A 50mm lens is a classic choice when it comes to street photography and I'm pretty sure every photographer at some point or another has owned a 50mm lens. I've had about five different ones myself but I've never used one like this. You see this is Sigma's latest and greatest 50mm prime lens and what makes this one special is the f-stop. This lens will stop all the way down to f1.2. F 1.2 that is pure insanity right there and also look at the form factor for what it's packing on the inside that's still a relatively small and lightweight lens but has sigma sacrificed on image quality in order to achieve such a compact design well to find out we're going to go out onto the streets of york do some photography and see what this lens is all about all the photographs you're going to see in today's pov have been edited with my presets if you would like to check these out for yourself a link for that is in the description below but with all that said let's get out onto the streets and let's get shooting all right, so this is where we're going to be starting today's POV video. We're just going to get a quick few establishing shots of York Minster. Nothing too special. Maybe play around with some foregrounds a little bit. Shooting at f2.8. Got a spot focus right there. Got a little bit of foreground and that looks rather interesting. I'll be honest, I haven't done any street photography in about five weeks. And that's mainly because I've been going through a family bereavement. Uh, which absolutely just sucks and has sucked away all of my motivation as you'd expect but I'm kind of just uh, throwing myself in the deep end and trying to get back into it all after some difficult time so yeah the, today's session is more about me getting back into the groove of things so I reckon my first few shots are going to be pretty rusty but then hopefully with some more time they're going to get a lot better we have got maybe a composition right here. This could actually look pretty nice in black and white if we can get a subject walking right there in frame. Might just need to give it a minute, so I'm just going to chill. There we go. There's a, a lad right there. We got one shot right there. I waited about 15 minutes or so. I'm going to do a walking shot here. Oh wow, look at that walking shot right there, just walking by the subject, nailing that photo right there, F12, the eye autofocus working tremendously well. And then this shot right here, that at 50mm, that is really nice. Could try and wait a couple of moments, see if a subject walks through my frame. I said walk, not drive. should do it we actually got another two right there which is can i take a photo of you your beard is amazing yeah well uh yes certainly <laughs> certainly <laughs> and you have to just, just oh there we go can i just get a couple more how long does it take to maintain that every uh, day i have been growing this beard for over half a century half a century yeah. that's commitment <laughs> yeah, it is, <laughs> well it looks amazing have a brilliant day half a century that's crazy really cool subject in the window here so I'm just going to go to a centre focus point, take a few different photographs right there. And that looks pretty sick right there because of how the light is hitting the subject and how it's framed between the window. That's a good shot. Oh, this is a nice composite here. Oh, this is a lovely composite right here. Oh, look at that. F1, 2. There's two people on the benches right there. The foregrounds from the trees, the lamp post in the back. Oh, very nice. Can we get a photo of the lady in here in the store? Ooh, yes, quick fired a few shots off and got a good one right there. Nice foregrounds as well. Get a photo behind this woman as she's holding the flowers right there. Got the flowers in focus. Ooh, that looks like a real nice shot, especially how she's leaning up. So you can get a photograph of this gentleman in the window. Ooh, that's pretty awesome right there. Gonna get a photograph of this person right here. There we go. Arms crossed, not looking very happy, but I'm pretty happy with the composition. <laughs> he looks really annoyed actually. Take a photograph of this gentleman right here for the window. Ooh, landscaping and portrait, nailing both right there. That's a pretty cool reflection right there, using the mirror right there. Oh, there's a good one right there. That's a pretty decent one. This one's better. Oh, yes. 
the f1.2 on this lens delivers terrifically well don't think i've got that one. Oh, actually i could zoom in a bit because i find it quite amusing that both of them are taking a photograph right next to each other actually yeah crop into that that'll be perfect get a photo of the gentleman here nice using a bit of foreground in that maybe get the gentleman here oh yeah the way he's like moving his hands and everything explaining things that looks pretty good nice photograph of the gentleman there smiling away beautiful stunning artwork the artwork on there is absolutely beautiful so you can get a photo behind the shoulders of some people yes just like that you've got crowds of people who have moved and now i can try and get a photo of these two people right here in traditional outfits which look pretty spectacular shooting at about f3.2 might take a photo of you yeah yeah look brilliant come on Hey, brilliant. Thank you very much, buddy. Have a brilliant day now. Take care. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that face. The funny thing is, I've taken a photo of that gentleman before. Get a photo of the woman in the window here. Boom, making sandwich. See if we can get a photo of this subject here. Brilliant. That is brilliant. Two really cool shots right there. Again, amazing photo here of the woman again. That's brilliant. Oh, look how sharp this lens is. Yes, get a photo of those people pointing at the board. These are always classic shots. I think I completely blocked my GoPro when I just took a photo of that subject there, uh, but the shot looked pretty good, I'll tell you that much. Oh, that was a good shot. That was a very good shot of viewing it back. People just took it a little bit lost. Let's open up the aperture and go around for a second take. Oh, perfect. Another great shot right there. Two for two, one with a much shallower aperture, one with a much wider. Wait, no, the other way around. Wait, no, I just did the same thing to it. Never mind, you get what I mean. Oh, did I nail that? I think I just nailed that when walking by. The reflections on that photograph look incredible. Nice, got some good photographs there. The wizard doing his act. Yes, this is what we're talking about here. <laughs> That's brutal. Yes, that is brilliant right there. People lost looking at the map. Nailed that one, nailed that one. Uh, get a photo of this woman looking at the window display right there. Oh, and portrait looks brilliant. That's brilliant in portrait. That's the shot I've been waiting for right there. Get a photo of this gentleman here walking through. Yes, that is Hello, Eliza. Nice to see you. I just got a photo of a wizard. That was magical. Oh, it's a cool photograph. Getting the woman leaning up right there and then the two silhouettes of people walking through the tunnel. I actually think that's a pretty cool shot. <laughs> it's not every day you see a fireman uh, in front of the shambles. I wasn't expecting that at all, but I just got a photo of that gent right there. Oh, right, nice. Oh, very cool photograph of the person with that bike crossing the road right there. Nice. get a photograph right here using the white lines a bit of a leading line to the minster open up the aperture to f8 drop the shutter speed bring up the iso a little bit the sun is hitting the minster right now which is hopefully helping with the exposure quite a bit and that is allowing us to nail that photograph oh right there oh that's a kind of a nice shot right there oh i think i absolutely nailed that as well i got a gentleman at the bottom of the frame walking through the shot and that could actually look kind of cool in black and white. I've got this frame here. We're getting a photograph 
of the street lamp on the bridge using these trees as a bit of a foreground and that at F12. Ooh, looks a bit nice. Oh yes, this is a good frame. Oh, that exquisite framing. Perfect right there. Please say I nailed it. Please, I did nail it. I am very happy. Okay, right here, this is going to be a brilliant shot. Waiting for our subject to get in the frame. Shooting a little bit of a burst right there. And that looks really good. At the beginning of the video, we took this photograph. And I said it would look a lot better if the skies were a lot bluer. Well, the skies are now a lot bluer. There's still a little bit of grey mixed in there. And that means we're going to be able to open up the aperture. F11. Drop the shutter speed. 180 for a second. And then take a couple of photographs. And hopefully, we have now been able to nail that stunning photograph of York Minster. You know what? I think I was able to capture some pretty good shots with that 50mm lens. I really enjoyed using it. I am going to be doing a full review on that lens. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. But I think the last thing we should do today is have a look through the hashtag Curtis Padley and see what you guys have been creating. And the first photograph we're going to have a look at today is this one by Tucker Photos of the Eclipse. That is an incredible photograph right there absolutely breathtaking great way to kick things off today this sunset shot right here by ncb is really nice i love the composition of this shot this is really nicely done this shot of tower bridge is brilliant by dave albert in london absolutely love this photo spot and that's a really cool shot right there got some cool like low riders here by shane 702 or oh, in las vegas the perfect place for it oh the sun flares the lighting those cars are awesome. Those shots have got it all right there. And that black and white, oh, geez, just so good. So good. Oh, look at this racing shot by Henry Photography. Now, that is some action right there. Look at all oh, in the rain, the Aston, that one, this one, all of them right there everywhere. What event was this? Oh, GT, British GT Media. Oh, I missed that day. Dang it, there's some good shots right there. I'm jealous. Oh, beautiful framing on this shot right here by With Micro in Venice, Italy. A place I've always wanted to visit, and these are some beautifully composed shots. And we're going to have a look at two more posts today. We've got this one by David. I love the collage you've got here. These are great subjects, great frames all around. And then we've got this beautiful Ferrari captured by CYtography. One absolute classic right there. Beautiful frames all around, beautifully composed, and the colour grading is on point. That was a terrible whistle, by the way. A massive shout out to everyone continuing to use the hashtag Curtis Padley over on Instagram. If you want a chance to be work being featured right here on the channel, go over on Instagram and use it. And I'll look forward to seeing a lot more of your work on there. Now, that is where I am going to be leaving today's POV with the mighty 50mm F12. What are your thoughts on this lens? As I said, I will be doing a review in the next couple of weeks or so on this lens. So if you don't miss that, subscribe and stay tuned. But with all that said, until next time, create explore and inspire.